Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to create a Snap 2 grid in Click Team Fusion 2.5. Uh, it's real, real simple, it's really short, but it's really good to show you how fast you can uh, create things in Fusion 2.5. Uh, so I've got a blank play area here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create like a, a grid um, type object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly drop in a quick backdrop object. I'm going to change that to motif. So we've got an image. I've cancelled that out. I'm going to resize the image down to 8x8, eight eight, just like that. And I'm going to create a quick square like that. That's, that's going to be our outline. Now, as you can see, it's already, because I'm using the quick backdrop object, I can just stretch this out and I can grab it. Uh, there you go. Or I can just use these properties in here. So make it 640 by 480. There we go. So if we run that now, you'll see we've got a grid for our play area. So I'm going to lock that down for a second and I'm going to insert an active object. Um, let's clear that. Let's make it a red tile. And I'm going to again make that 8x8. Now I need to ensure that the hotspot is in the top left corner for this. There we go. Right, so if I run the application, you can see nothing happens with no movement assigned to this. And I'm going to show you a bit of magic in just one event. We're going to make this follow our mouse, uh, but it's not only going to follow our mouse, it's going to snap to the grid also. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to do an always event. So always set X coordinate to X mouse. Always set Y coordinate to Y mouse. Real simple. So if I run the application now, you'll notice that the red square follows or mouse. So how do we get it to snap to the grid? Well it's real simple. When we set the X position what we do is we do a division of uh, the coordinate that we want to divide it by and then we multiply it. So for example we know our grid is 8 by 8 and we know our active is also 8 by 8 so we can divide by 8 and then times by 8 and we do the same thing for the Y position. So we do Y mouse divided by 8 times by 8 and now when we run the application you'll notice that the object is snapping to the grid. So we can, we've got a little bit of room. We can basically move our mouse eight pixels up or down or eight pixels left and right before it snaps and jumps to the next um, section on the grid. So you can see how easy that is to create in Fusion 2.5. I wanted to show you that snippet because I just wanted you to just sit back and think, you know, wow, the the, the, the amount of things that you can do with Fusion 2.5 in less than a minute, less than two minutes, is absolutely incredible. This kind of routine is very, very useful for, for example, creating your own level editors, because when you've got when you're creating your own level editor, you want to be able to work to a snap to grid. Um, it's also uh, really good for um, turn based games, um, even RPGs, things like that. Anything it can be useful for many things. And I, th I wanted to share that little tidbit with you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also check out the Click Fusion Academy at all the W's dot Click Fusion dot Academy. And I'll see you in the next one.